Hey, what is up guys, Bonfiggy here, and today I'm with you guys a 100 kill game right on the dot, and the game actually ended a little bit early, so it was pretty clutch, I think it was only like 8 minutes long, but uh, that's not really what I'm going to be talking about today, it was a nice gameplay, hope you guys enjoy in the background, but today I wanted to go over Treyarch's newest patch updates, and just the notable things, there's a lot more that when I'm going over, and I'm going to leave a link to everything down in the description below in case you guys want to check out all the other stuff, but... These are just the most notable things that I found in those, so I'm going to be going over those. So the first thing is, they actually added Hardcore Kill Confirm, which should be pretty fun. They added that to the Hardcore playlist. And as you guys know, there was a kill streak glitch where basically if you re-rolled to try to get another kill streak with the Engineer perk, your teammates could steal it. So they actually patched that so it no longer lets your teammates able to steal your care package, which is really nice. I don't know if many people use the care package, but they did update that. Then they also added a fail safe to prevent spawn trapping in Capture the Flag, and there was actually some really intense spawn trapping going on in Capture the Flag, which is kind of weird, they never really had that as a spawn trapping game type, it was usually Demolition, so that's definitely nice if you want to play Capture the Flag, I'm not really sure that many people play that game type, but either way, still nice that they're doing these sort of things. The next thing is they actually improved theater mode and live streaming capabilities, so a lot more games have been saving in theater mode for me, which is extremely nice, and you can actually access them, in case you guys didn't know, they actually disabled theater mode because of the fact that people were using this one six second video to get 10th prestige or whatever so they had to shut that down but they pretty much got it working now and it seems to be a lot better which I'm definitely really glad that they addressed that issue so the next thing is they actually uh, for the EMP grenades they're no longer a the Codcaster heads up display, which is like the mini map or whatever, which is pretty nice actually. It's really annoying when that happens. Then the UAV it actually got buffed up to a 425 score streak instead of the regular 350 because a lot of people were UAV spamming and they just made it a little bit harder to get, which I definitely should agree with because that's just really nice. Then uh, the Lightning Strike they added a 750 millisecond delay with the Lightning Strike in this gameplay. This was actually pre patch. It pretty much goes down right away, but now it's a little bit delayed, but one thing that's really nice about the lightning strike is it actually shows you guys where the whole entire enemy team is right when you call it in, so it's kind of nice, but it is a little bit delayed, so make sure you put it a little bit off front of the enemies when you call it in, that's just one thing I would recommend. And then this is one thing that I'm really glad that they patched the Bouncing Betty. It's increased the grace period between trigger and activation by 200 milliseconds. So you basically have a little bit more time to react, which is really nice. That thing was getting really annoying. So definitely glad that they did that. Then the sensor grenades, they increased the range, the frequency, and the amount of time the players appear after the explosion. And then the SMGs, all of them have their increased hipfire recoil. And also the hipfire spread has been increased from 4.75 to 5, so the SMGs, they definitely were a little bit OP when you would hit fire with them, especially with like the laser sight, so they toned that down a little bit. They did actually add a few buffs, but the majority of the SMGs, like the MSMC and the PDW, they got the recoil nerfed, which is really unfortunate. Those were my favorite guns, so it's not too bad, but they did get nerfed a little bit. And then the assault rifles, they reduce the idle sway for more reliable long range aiming for every single one of them. The XM8, they actually reduce lethal range of three hit kills from 250 to 50 inches. Then the FAL, they actually, for the select fire, they increase the recoil, which is really nice. People were spraying people down with almost no recoil whatsoever. Uh, the XPR50 sniper rifle, the recoil was increased slightly. The R870 shotgun, it's reduced one hit kill range by 45 inches, which pretty much just brings down the range a little bit. That's kind of unfortunate because I like using the shotguns, but those are just the most notable things that I found. I'm really glad that Treyarch is supporting their games, and I hope you guys are too. That's pretty much it for this video. Hope you guys did enjoy. Please be sure to leave the video a like if you did enjoy. I'm trying to get out more videos for you guys. Getting to doing pretty good lately. Got a lot of 100 plus kill games out for you guys. But the final score of this gameplay was 100 to 3. And make sure to check out the description for all the other patch notes. Uh, this is just kind of a spur moment video that I want to do for you guys. But yeah guys, that's pretty much it. Hope you did enjoy. Please subscribe to the channel if you're new. And make sure to check out all the other patch notes in the description below. Peace out guys.